hello. So we're reading another book today. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. It was so lovely to see you this morning, Calvin, um, taking a walk with your daddy. I could tell you were just talking so much and looking at the birds and the little puppies that people are walking on the street. Wow, amazing. Um, Rome, you have dogs, right? You have two, uh, Winnie and Winnie and Biggie. Yeah, Winnie and Biggie. And hmm, Easton and Raylan, you have Bodie. And Kaya and Mila, you have Honey and Rocco. And I'm not sure about uh, Gus. I'm not sure about Blue or Vivian or Dominic or, hmm, how about Kate and Winter? I know you don't have a dog. I don't think you do anyway. And who else? I don't know. Oh, Cassis and Nona? You might have dogs. Anyway, I don't have any pets here. I used to have a snake at school, but now Conoco has it, um, has him. And um, yeah, pets. I like pets, but I'm too busy to, to have one at my house right now. I want to have a big yard for them to run around in. That's, I think, what I, that's when I'll get a dog. Probably a dog. Anyway, so let's get comfortable. Um, you know, find something to eat maybe if you're hungry and relax and let your imagination go wild. Abuela by Arthur Doros, illustrated by Elisa Clevin. Abuela <clears throat> by Arthur Doros, illustrated by Elisa Clevin. <laughs> to my grandmothers, a mis abuelas, and Alex, A.D. For my nephews, Sam, Joey, Jacob, Andrew, Sean, Todd, Harry, and Scott, E.K. Abuela takes me on the bus. We go all around the city. Abuela is my grandma. She is my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly in Spanish because that's what people spoke where she grew up before she came to this country. Abuela and I are always going places. Today we are going to the park. El parque es lindo, says Abuela. I know what she means. I think the park is beautiful too. Tantos pájaros. Abuela says, as a flock of birds surround us. So many birds. They're picking up the bread we brought. Wow, look at that. So colorful. Beautiful. What if they picked me up and carried me high above the park? What if I could fly? Abuela would wonder where I was. Swooping like a bird, I'd call to her. Just fly. Then she'd see me flying. Rosalba, the bird. Rosalba, el pájaro, she'd say. Ven, abuela, come, abuela, I'd say. Si quiero volver, volver, abuela would reply as she leapt into the sky with her skirt flapping in the wind. We would fly all over the city. Mira, abuela would say, pointing. And I'd look as we soared over parks in streets, dogs, and people. We'd wave to the people waiting for the bus. Buenos dias, we'd say. Buenos dias, good morning, they'd call up to us. We'd fly over factories and trains. It says sprinkles. And glide close to the sea. Cerca del mar, we'd say. We'd almost touch the top of the waves. Abuela's skirt would be a sail. She could race with the sailboats. I'll bet she'd win. We'd fly to where the ships were docked and watch people unload fruits from the land where Abuela grew up. Mangoes, papayas, bananas, they were all Spanish words. So are rodeo, patio, and burro. Maybe we'd see a cousin of Abuelo's hooking boxes of fruit to a crane. We saw our cousin Danielle once unloading and loading the ships. 
Out past the boats in the harbor, we'd see the Statue of Liberty. Me gusta, Abuela would say. Abuela really likes her. I do too. We would circle around Liberty's head and wave to the people visiting her. That would remind Abuela of when she first came to this country. Vamos al aeropuerto, she'd say. She'd take me to the airport where the plane that first brought her landed. Cuidado, Abuela would tell me. We would have to be careful as we went for a short ride. It says, hola. Hello. Then we would fly to Tio Pablo's and Tia Elisa's store. Pablo is my uncle, my tío, and Elisa is my aunt, my tía. They'd be surprised when we flew in, but they'd offer us a cool limonada. Flying is hot work. Pero quiero volar más. Volar más, Abuela would say. She wants to fly more. I want to fly more too. We could fly to Las Nubes, the clouds. One looks like a cat, un gato. One looks like a bear, un oso. One looks like a chair, un silla. Descansemos un momento. Descansemos un momento, Abuela would say. She wants to rest a moment. We would rest in our chair and Abuela would hold me in her arms with the whole sky, our house, nuestra casa. We'd be as high as airplanes, balloons, and birds, and higher than the tall buildings downtown, but we'd fly there too to look around. Parcito. We could find the building where my father works. Hola, papa, I'd say as I waved, and Abuela would do a flip for fun as we passed by the windows. Mira, I hear Abuela say, look, she's telling me. I do look, and we're back in the park. We are walking by the lake. Abuela probably wants to go for a boat ride. Vamos a otra aventura, she says. She wants to go out for another adventure. That's just one of the things I love about Abuela. She likes adventures. Abuela takes my hand. Vamos, she says. Let's go. Abuela by Arthur Doros, illustrated by Elisa Clevin. Ah, I love that book. Abuela, I am an abuela, and I love that her granddaughter had such a vivid imagination. It was so wonderful. And the fact that they both are adventurers. Yeah, what a great book. It's so colorful and so happy. Oh, made me really happy. I really love this book. I hope you did too. And I hope you love your abuelas wherever they are. Mwah. Bye. Till next time.